Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. And I'm Marvi, and welcome to our special uh, time. Special. <laughs> this went smoothly. It's just our coffee time with Aravi. With Sara and Aravi. No, wait. <laughs> it fucked up you everything. Power. <laughs> Do you guys like our new logo, which I made? Uh, and you made it according. perfectly. You made it perfectly. It's like and, and and actually nobody knows that I I have never like written a graffiti style. So this was my first time. Serious? <laughs> Seriously? Seriously? Wow. Yep. I was yeah. when when you first sent me the picture, I was really amazed with the style and the colors and everything was like holy shit, like she nailed it. <laughs> it was absolutely amazing. Like I'm still looking at it and it's like mwah. it's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. No, I wanted to I wanted to make it like to be um to represent us, uh, but also to represent um, our team, which we have right now. <laughs> but it's 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 so spooky and it's so good. So yeah, I wanted to uh, like to represent Halloween team. Oh yes, so, yeah. the, the the Halloween team. Um, yeah, Halloween. Yeah, the most wonderful time of the year. Oh, it's my favorite. Like, I really yeah. enjoy just uh, curling up in a bed and watching The Nightmare Before Christmas on Halloween, on Christmas Eve as well, but the Halloween is the number one. So, I can say that we already saw each other's photos, but I don't think I actually saw your process and you didn't saw mine so that, that that should be interesting you said that you find something out about the history of halloween and as i'm far as i'm concerned i only know that halloween was a pagan festival dedicated to that that's Everything I know about some origin of Halloween. But... I'm sure a lot of people don't know what I found out, actually. But it's pretty cool because, <clears throat> as maybe some of you knows, uh, I am currently in Ireland. And I found out that Halloween actually uh, started from Ireland. And that was so epic to me because, like, I mean... I'm here on the exact place where it all started. So it's so good. It's so cool because we chose this day because it's six, yeah. six days before Halloween. So yeah, I think so, it's the six is important uh, number even for Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's all oh God, we, we actually nailed it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, uh, Halloween as we knew it draws its roots from 2000 years ago actually when the ancient celts marked the end of the summer and harvest and they uh, and they actually uh, wanted to uh, represent a beginning of the dark cold winter and they called the halloween actually sowen uh, and that's the celtic new year so Celts believed that on this day ghosts of the dead returned to earth, uh, so they would lit enormous bonfires to keep away spirits of the dead. Well, it reminds me All Saints Day, and it's like yeah, the, in in Croatia All Saints Day is the day after Halloween. Actually, it's not on the same date, so like. Uh, a lot of people and a lot of cu cultures actually um, draws its inspiration from from paganism. So this is actually normal thing. But of course, uh, 
Christianity don't want to admit, but <laughs> it's it's exactly like that. So uh, Kels actually said that on this day, on, on Osoven, uh, people would harvest fruits and nuts for the festive fair that would also feature in children's game on the night. And you know, when, uh, actually some people uh, have orchards of, of apples or, or other fruits that, that would grow and that would still be red on this day. In Croatia, we don't uh, celebrate actually Halloween as, as it should be celebrated, that's the thing. Uh, we celebrate it differently. <laughs> that's true, that's true, but I think that uh, it also depends on uh, a part of the country. But uh, we do have our own holiday, that's not Halloween, but it's something similar. It's, um, it's carnival, but uh, in Croatia it's called Fashnik, and it's... Um, Kind of the same thing as Halloween, but instead of October, no, it's October, um, we are celebrating it in uh, February, but it's also cold as hell and there is a shit ton of weird creatures walking around and everybody's pretending there's something else. So basically the same shit but different reasons. But did you know that uh, <clears throat> that actually um, one person, I mean two persons actually brought um, the traditions of the Halloween to Croatia and i mean not to Croatia, but for the christianity and it was actually pope boniface the fourth and after him uh it was expanded by pope pope gregory the third and yeah they they kind of brought it to the christianity just the traditions not not the not the name but the traditions that 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 comes with the name because halloween was called a lot of different names so it was first they called feast of all saints so the hallowed ones uh all saints or all souls or all hallows all hallow mass all hallows eve and then eventually it was halloween it, it has a lot of names <laughs> Well, they were trying before. <laughs> Eventually, <laughs> I'll have so, to. Yes, yes. Um, we need to speak a bit about our special coffee time, um, a bit because it will. We will try to uh, for it to be like every Tuesday. Yes. But we are not like. We will try to be committed to it for every Tuesday and we will have different teams for every Tuesday. So maybe if you're like interested in our talking, as you can see, it's funny, extremely funny, but we are, we are actually uh, like researched it, uh, everything. So we have a lot of information for you. But I, I will just correct interested. you. I will just correct you because you're wrong. We didn't research it. You did. <laughs> I didn't do shit. Oh, right. <laughs> I... <laughs> well, uh, well uh, you you also well you made um, uh, our um, yeah but screen. yeah. Fair enough, we both did some things, but to be fair, I didn't do read the research, you did. <laughs> all right, okay, all right, okay, but, but you can do the other one, because you know a lot more about the other team than me, because I'm not very familiar, I, I won't say what team it is for the next time, but um, yeah, you will do the research for the next team. I have to remember which was the next team. Uh, oh, oh, oh yeah, right. Oh shit. Don't, don't speak about it. <laughs> no, I won't, but th that will be interesting. I, I'm really looking forward to it. Me too. But uh, uh, Ari, this is, this is extremely uh, important. 
Okay, so <clears throat> yes, I will speed it up a bit because this was just me positioning the mannequin and like how I wanted to. Sorry, are we? Are we I don't. I don't see anything. Sorry. Oh <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. I haven't shown you the screen. Okay, now you can see it. Oh, right, right, yes, yes. Okay, so basically I just uh, started with this uh, mannequin model and tried to copy its face, but soon enough I think I gave up. Um... I'm trying to find maybe some way to speed it up. Oh, yep, yeah, we have face now. <laughs> yeah, and it's terrible. Uh, I'm just skipping a bit, but this is where I try to switch to uh drink horns and just trying different right. things does she represent someone or yes. is that like your who who does she represent uh i actually tried to envision myself how would my uh, Halloween costume look like so basically you were watching oh. me drew my Halloween costume it did took me longer but now I also see some mistakes that shouldn't be in there but maybe they're okay so I basically ended up with something like this when I made my first pause so here we go again. We are now continuing to go. Yeah. Uh, at this point, I actually started to draw uh, platform boots. And like you see, it's still a mess. It's still like zigzag lines and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm now I'm mapping yeah. shoes as well and uh, I actually separated every single layer of paint on separate layer and uh, I mapped out um, individual clothing in separate folders with each layer in the folder and do the same for entire uh, art. So I'm actually amazed that you are using that because it's it's. I think that's harder uh, than, than than I do. I, I'm I'm lazy in that part. <laughs> to be fair, I actually tried it on this um, art for I think first time to do specific and like oh. continuous layering. Yeah. Because I wanted to uh, be able to like go in and change something if I don't like it and without messing up something else that I make actually like. But from past experience then it's a problem to find a layer when you have like more than 300 layers, for example then yeah. it's a problem to find something yeah. so that's what i why i try to do this and for me it was actually very helpful like you can see right now when i'm doing the skirt like how i can now feel like this part of the skirt is actually from behind i don't know it it was yeah. just easier for me to concentrate on uh, specific areas at the time and this this is why I just colored it in different variants of uh, blue shade it really helped me a lot with coloring it was amazing process um, I would do 
something similar but not like this so I wouldn't like to have um, folders but I would have different layers of different things so I don't know if I do like t-shirt and I forgot like every single time I forgot to switch from a monochrome to RGB so oh god <laughs> yeah so oh, that's that's why you have everything like black and white yeah when i first start then i have everything black and white and i think it took me some time here to realize that the, the, the oh my god. yeah so i was basically drawing in monochrome for i don't know how long and then i realized then yeah then I swear. Yes, now I see, now I see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that we should probably stream with cameras because right now everything is out of the context. And. <laughs> um, well, for that, we need to have a lot of people watching. So, people, if you want to see us. Listen to her. She's the smart one. Yep. I'm the crazy one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she agrees. That's a good sign. <laughs> yes, but look at that boob. <laughs> yes, I can see your What did you do with the boob? Under boob. Under boob, yeah. Under boob. <laughs> Well, I was here j just trying to get it as realistic as possible. I can see that, yes. Yes. You but... are trying so hard on this boob. <laughs> yeah, but the problem is we know we know each other and it's so funny and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> that was the point, honey. Uh... I actually forgot to record when I did eyes and lips. She's looking a bit like an alien. And if you, if that was the point, like, uh, you nailed it. Well, I was going for... Because you have aliens in season 2. Yeah, I was going for something... Or out of this world and I didn't even try to make her look even remotely human. I don't yeah. I don't know what I drew this uh drew here because I just wanted to look at like some elvish engraving or something. Yes, well well that's that, that that's why I'm saying she looks like Oh yes, that's an elf. Oh god, the dark elf from from World of Warcraft one. That was Sylvanas then. I don't know her name. I only know that they are blue, and they are from the, yes. some kind of a planet. I don't know. Yes. And they have hooves on their feet, and and tails. You know, big then tails no. like um. Like then I have no idea. I know you told me like um, you had uh, like a lot of time to finish her, but but then you also said that you finish her in one piece, so that's a good thing because well, usually. No, I mean I did uh, finish her in like two different days, but still I completed her. Okay. That 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 was important part for me because I still yeah. have like. Yeah ton of work that I have started drawing and it just sits there never gone beyond I don't know posing a model so yeah yeah completing something actually made me feel really good about myself and I was really happy with the result okay so are you ready to see your Drawing! Yes! <laughs> so... Now we can see how proper editing is done. 
and <laughs> not in midnight while you're half as asleep and yeah and it's it's the first time so we're still good oh, so we are done no <laughs> No, we're not done. This we're still watching your masterpiece. I still don't see it. <laughs> How? Well, I don't know. Open the Oh. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh here it goes. Oh my god. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> well, sorry guys. Well, um, yes, um, this is tag of Bera I was reading about, and so I need to speed up. Well, um, uh, here, like, I didn't know how to present her because there is a lot of stories about her, uh, but then I eventually, like, <clears throat> decided on to make her look like a stone so she's a woman made out of stone and she's waiting for her husband uh the um like god of the sea um to, to um, return to her so yeah um actually she she's unknown uh, as the white nun of Bera or, or the old woman of Dingle and it says that she was born on uh, so when so on Halloween actually uh, and she's a goddess of winter and she would rule winter until her counterpart uh, Bridget or Bridge uh, would take over and yeah I, I edited this video to be faster because well uh, it took me like <laughs> uh, an hour and a half to finish it and as I said all, already well um, I kind of put my uh, uh, so, yeah, uh, the legend goes that Hag of Bera was uh, born in County Cork and she's associated with the Southwest and the Bera Peninsula in County Cork and uh, she has stones in her hand because According to legends, Tom's at Caramor and in the Darty Mountains uh, got because she would like flew over the region and she had an apron and she accidentally dropped <laughs> the stones. <laughs> so the stones kind of scattered around place and then the, the Caramor and Darty Mountains uh, create. create Help. So yeah, that's that's how uh, they depict her. And actually, yeah, I wanted her to look like Celtic woman without telling you that she's a Celtic woman. Uh, so I wanted her to be to have that reddish hair and pale skin and. Uh, in the first, like on the in the start of the sketch, she she posed to wear cloth, an old cloth. But then I uh, chose to like, well, to dress her in a selfie gown, gown, and she actually had like a shawl uh, over her shoulder, and that shawl is called Luana, like like a Celtic shawl and, and, and it, it could actually be worn in a, in a lot of different ways. So yeah, that's what she's wearing and um, she's standing on that cliff. Um, the cliff is called uh, Moher. So uh, she, she's standing there because in real life there is a rock that kind of represent her 
her face, actually. So yeah, people still in today, uh, they are still like bringing bits and pieces to to that place because they believe uh, that that she she is still there, and they say if like if she's awakened, uh, then would be uh, when the winter is like warm, and then she's awakened and. If the winter is cold, then 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 you'll know that uh, it will be soon over, and that she's actually sleeping. So that's kind of an interesting thing to know. I never drew something that looks like a stone, half stone, half human. So it was very it was very interesting to me to 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 try to imitate stone on a, on a skin. I'm actually. Yeah. I was actually listening to the story, and while while you were describing the story and watching it come to life, it's really amazing. Yeah, I really am well, enjoying your drawing style. Oh, thank you. Well, as I told you, I I wanted to to make everything happen fast so i didn't want to like make a normal sketch as i would usually do but i wanted to start uh, like um sectioning colors so i know where the things should go and i was struggling so hard with her face because i like you will see right now because i didn't know um i didn't want her to look specific but then i also wanted her to look specific and if you know what i mean so yeah. i kind of settled to for, for her to be like in, in her mid 30s i don't know um because well i don't know something was screaming to me that she's uh, that that she's actually a mature woman so i I didn't want her to be like a child or something like that. And I wanted her to, there to be like stones with with tiny bones and everything because of that song. Um, um, that is called um, Savage Daughter. She, she's having like blue eyes and reddish hair and she she's kind of beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> well, she is. I really like her. Yeah, she 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 reminds me of someone. I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe maybe uh, on um, Sansa from Game of Thrones. Maybe. Uh, now goes the the most uh, important part. I didn't watch the Game of Thrones. Oh my god! <laughs> Where are you living? I do not know you are living, woman. <laughs> <laughs> it's called house, but yeah. Oh God. Okay. Uh, after this, you need to watch like Game of no. Thrones. No. <laughs> no. Game of Thrones is one of those things that goes on my never to do list. Oh, uh, as as I was uh, like f for for longest time possible, I didn't watch the. Uh, um star wars because i was like okay everybody likes it so i won't watch it no actually it's not that it's i i watched like maybe 30 minutes of game of thrones and that's probably the first episode i remember only the white wall and just a lot of shit screaming onwards so, yeah, my first impressions with Game of Thrones didn't land so well, so I was bored and that's why I never watched it. Oh, that's too bad, really. Because, actually, um, they probably, like, used some of the pagan mythology for the Game of Thrones because you could actually see if you watched it. Yeah, yeah. Wanna hear another funny part of that thing? I actually read the book called, I think it's the 
roar of crows or something with crows that is actually uh, I don't know which book of Game of Thrones I actually read it. oh yeah oh I'll, that's nice a long time ago so I don't even remember it anymore but yeah I somehow accidentally actually read Game of Thrones without knowing what that is <laughs> Forgetting about yeah. it, then actually started to. I w I wasn't planning on start watching it to watch it, but my ex was actually forcing me that I need to watch that show because it's so damn good. And I watched like first couple of scenes, and I was like, no, nope, no, I don't want to watch it. Bye bye. Well, well, she actually does does remind me um, the poor guys who know anyone uh, who, who is watching us currently and knows about Game of Thrones. Um, she does remind me of Sansa because uh, that's the perfect setting because um, they were always telling like winter is coming blah 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 so it's a perfect show to watch during uh, Halloween and before Halloween it's, it's perfect. So yeah uh, I actually on her frostings because you know when you wash your clothes on the during the winter and if you like put them outside to 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 like kind of yeah and they would take the frostings on them so that's i was imagining uh could happen because of the wind and, and the sea is close so that would 100% happen. And yeah, this is it about the video. <laughs> but I think the picture is amazing and the scenography behind her and the costume and everything. I mean, the costume. I'm really amazed how you put that seam in the dress, like how you separate it. Uh, here underneath the boobs and on the sides looks nice oh yeah yeah I, I, I really like the details and if like if this was I don't know if this wasn't like timed drawing if uh, if I had like more time I would probably make like a lot of more details because I really enjoyed the reading about it and wanted to make to make it look real, to make it look like um, that 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 she that she actually was some some long time ago a real person, because if you believe, I mean, if you believe, um, legends are stories told from from um, century to century, and they kind of goes from from one family to another so i believe that in some point of uh, i don't know um uh, at some point of, in some point of time in, in some point of time she probably was like a real person so yeah i wanted to show that um and yeah uh she's closely associated to Ireland and it was extremely interesting for me because like like I just said I'm here now so it's extremely interested to, to to hear and to know that 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 you are living on the ground that, that some long time ago belonged to I don't know these stories, so that's that, that's really interesting to me. And what do you think about today? Did we break the ice? I think we did. Okay, I know it was it was funny. It was we were trying not to laugh, but then we did laugh, and I think it was interesting, and I think we learned something new, both of us. So yeah, this is this, this this was like really important to me to have. So yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to the next time. Well, 
I actually find some new techniques in your work that I'm definitely going to try out. No problem. Uh, oh yeah, I'm copying your shit. Like, I will admit <laughs> it. Like, I'm copying like what you did. I'm gonna do that. <clears throat> all right, all right. You go ahead. <laughs> Make yourself at home. <laughs> yeah, I should probably, and especially for the next team. Okay, so shall we tell now to the world, or shall we just give the hint? Announcement. It's closely connected to this, but it's not this. <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> so I think I think people should watch the next stream if they want to find out what 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 are we preparing. So I know yeah. I know I know Stay what, what guys. I, I I know to, what to tell them, and we will form it like this. It's about a rock, and something from our childhood. So, if anyone is watching this, uh, you should try and guess what our team's gonna be next time. Leave it in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.